Start with the STP engine degreaser. Might as well bring in the big bones first time out. Next up, Mr. Muscle Oven Cleaner. to use the product I paid money for, is that okay with you? Oh no, that's not permissible. God sake. I am a meat popsicle. The negative ghost rider, I am a meat popsicle. <laughs>
happy if you folks are getting a decent angle on this nightmare now. Here we go. Some paint job to be scratched by the chain. Let's put it in here, then it won't scratch anything. Then it'll just get snarled up on something like the motor. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Lower away, Commander. Lower away. splining how does that differential look Ooh, it's hmm this could be a match made in heaven that wouldn't be wouldn't be my look i usually get the match made in hell type of a scenario but ooh, ooh, you're teasing me leaf motor you're teasing me ah you need another truck lifter bed splining thingy yeah we're not under that bucket so if that wants to go and crush fresh air it can be my guest oh the splines oh Ooh, now i'm gonna have to lower that gearbox a bit because the gearbox is coming up at too much of an angle that way to uh oh, the splines i'm gonna get a little bit of spray grease as well for those splines to um that's how we do it Yes, suits you, sir. Suits you, chain lube. Now, don't tell me I have to go under the bucket. No, I'm not going under the bucket. If I can keep that engaged on there, I might just. Yeah, I can't turn anything. I can't. 
Well, I can turn them over, obviously. Let me try and get into the mystery. Okay. After an epic amount of wiggling and maneuvering with the crane, we got the splines to slide on, and our plate matches up there very nicely. So I'm going to try and uh, tighten up the fasteners. I do have this strap kind of slightly in the way here, so I don't know how successful or not that I'm going to be with this. Wouldn't be this project if there wasn't something in the way. There's one in. I don't think I can get that one with the gun, but I'll be able to get his friend over the other side with the gun, alright? Okay, that's four 10 millimeter bolts in there. So I've got a block of wood under the motor. Now we can get our gears and everything in perfect position there with our uh, gearbox. I do need to put a little bit of a twist in it because some of the holes aren't lining up for me, but it's just the motor is twisted too far that way, but that's an easy fix. Just loosen those and put a jack under this and just twist it over. So we can let our uh, let our chain block off and get it out of here and get the digger of death out of here. It's in. Well, folks, <laughs> that was. Uh, Slightly more work than I'd anticipated But the good news is we now have an electric motor in our truck There's one last Finishing touch that we got to do here before we can start Fabricating mounts and hooking stuff up and going driving. Let me show you Now anyone who's anyone Knows that when you engine swap your truck you have to rebuild the entire engine bay and uh, we need to do that in a professional way obviously uh, so in order to learn how to do that I have been watching uh, as much pole barn garage as I possibly can and I believe now uh, that I have the necessary skills to basically take this crusty looking engine bay here that we pressure washed earlier and turn it into an absolutely immaculate uh, finish. So I'm going to get um, I'm going to get started on this, and we'll uh, bring you back as we go. Okay, folks, we've our engine bay thoroughly and professionally rebuilt, pole barn garage style. Everything's been re replaced, brand new components and carefully blend it in uh, to ensure even um, distribution of uh, colors. We've got, you know, brand new steering box and brand new battery tray and so on here. But obviously the star of the show here is our 110 kilowatt uh, Nissan Leaf drivetrain, which is now in. So it's in, the bonnet closes. I had to strip off the, um, that sound deadening garbage just that was on there, just to buy me a few millimeters. And we'll have to blank off the, um, the bonnet scoop. That was for the old interco intercooler. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. It was uh, most definitely a tour de force though. It's, this vehicle is just really badly designed from a serviceability point of view. I thought doing the front diff, you know, during the winter gone there was bad, but yeah, getting that, that engine out in particular was a lot of work. So folks, that's where I'm gonna cut it today. Um, 
but we've got a drivetrain, an inverter, and a charger, and a DC-DC and all, so uh, a lot of wiring. Obviously, I've got to fabricate engine mounts and get the rest of the bolts into the adapter plate and so on, but I was just super keen there to get this part done today because the rain is due back tomorrow, so I've got the bonnet on now so I can uh, close it up. I'll leave the front grill off for now just till I get the rad in here and a few other odds and ends. So in here in the cab, um, the positioning of the gearbox uh, in terms of height and tilt, pretty much spot on. We can get our rear gates, forward gates on the normal shift and the transfer, uh, we're on two high, four high and then four low. So that's all working away merrily. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's been a bit of um, lots of different little bits chopping and changing in the video. Apologies for that. It's just nature of the beast from, for me. I have a lot of other things that I have to look after during the days and so on. But yeah, drivetrain's in. Um, I'm going to be getting the um, physical mounting in there finished off, so the engine mounts and all that. I took the engine mounts off the existing engine. Other than being caked in goo, they're in good condition, so I'm going to try and clean them. And then I'll uh, use those to fabricate mounts to go on to our uh, motor and uh, keep our stack in there. Uh, we've got our battery already in the back there. So after that, it's pretty much a wiring job, folks. We get our VCU in there and um, we can start bringing up the power. And uh, then we'll get a rad in there um, and then we'll be driving. Obviously, you've got to do power steering and power brakes and that. But I don't need those just to drive around the yard here and prove that um, everything pretty much works. So that's the direction of travel. Uh, that we're going to be taking on this project. Folks, thanks a lot uh, for sticking with me. Uh, some of these projects do take years, <laughs> but uh, we get there in the end, uh, thankfully. So, as always, don't forget to give the old video a big thumbs down. Don't share, don't subscribe. Don't do any of that nonsense. Don't give me money on Patreon or PayPal or any other donations or anything like this because then I just waste them on projects like this one. Um, so we'll see you in the next episode. And uh, until then, happy engine bay rebuilding.